this is the number one worst mod to do to your Hemi Ram. I really don't want to call it a mod, but I guess it's a mod, but do not do this mod. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the five worst mod to avoid when you are planning on modifying your Ram your um, Dodge Ram, your Ram 1500, 57 Hemi. Do not do these mods. These are the worst mods you could possibly do to your truck. I'm gonna list these in order from one to five. Pretty much, I'm gonna be starting off with one of the most common things that most people, I see a lot of people, a lot of Ram guys who are starting to modify their Ram and are trying to look for, you know, the right parts and stuff for their truck but they really don't have much um idea which one to go with so number one is the 57 hemi ported intake manifold that's my number one i would not do that mod because you gotta understand there are plenty of better options out there that you could go with and one of my biggest thing the reason why i'm, I'm telling you not to do this mod is because of the fact that if you are really looking to make some real power with your ram this is all plastic i wouldn't really consider you going with that and for the price range it's just it's just not worth it and i obviously there's like i said better options and especially i think pretty pretty much if you're gonna be na or boosted i would not try to get the 57 hemi ported um intake manifold that's going for 300 400, 400 bucks i pretty much would get the 64 which is a lot better but it does cost a little bit more money you gotta understand that you know if you want something that's more so better for you trying to make some real power 6.4 is obviously better i'm pretty sure you can get them from mmx for about 700 or 750 bucks or probably a little bit more over that but i'll be my number one stay away from the 57 hemi ported intake manifold Number two is, this is something I used to see too, way too often. Yeah, it's gonna be the Pedal Commander, which is about 300 bucks. This is one of the worst mods anybody could ever, ever do to their RAM. It's pointless, it's one of the mods where is, why spend 300 bucks and, why spend 300 bucks to get a touchy pedal, but your truck not gonna gain any horsepower, any kind of performance, it's not even gonna help your car at all come on man it's just you having a pretty touchy um gas pedal and it's the worst thing you could spend 300 bucks on you know nowadays you know 300 bucks is not money that you want to just waste unless you got it like that but pedal commanders i used to see a lot of ads about these it's like it's very very pointless make sure you do your reviews on whatever parts you want to go with you know but i would not suggest that you get a pedal com commander for your ramp it's one of the worst decisions you made for modifying your truck. It's pointless, don't do it. Number three is gonna be the Hellcat throttle body. You know, like the 90 millimeter throttle body. That's the bigger size throttle body. It's really pointless. I would not do this mod, only if you're boosted or cam or ported or something like that. But the 90 millimeter um, bigger size throttle body require an adapter, which is like 90 bucks that you got to spend again well not again but you got to spend 90 dollars out of your pocket after you done spent whatever 300 bucks on the throttle body it's pretty much pointless does not help your truck gain any kind of road power like i said only if you really boost it or can then that's when it really makes sense for you to really do something like this but i would not personally do it because it's it's really no benefit to it it's really no benefit so if you don't have them three things i just named it's no benefit zero benefit at all stick to your regular stock throttle body that right there is better than you going with the bigger size i know a lot of people think that oh if i go with the bigger size throttle body oh i'm going to be able to increase more power and do this but you, you definitely wouldn't like you definitely would not if you don't believe me you know do your research you can definitely see what i'm talking about but Number three is going to be the Hellcat throttle body or the 90, mil 90 millimeter bigger size throttle body from BBK, whatever, you know. But number four is going to be one of the worst mods that just hurt my head when I think about it is the Sh 
shorty headers that's really, really worse at pointless. I don't even think that much performance places that sell aftermarket parts and stuff like that really make these anymore because not too many people have them. And because I'm starting to realize, I'm maybe most people starting to realize that, you know, it's pointless for you to go with the shorty headers when you could spend that little bit way, spent that little bit more money and get the long tube headers, which is gonna benefit for your truck overall because you gotta think about it. If you really trying to modify your Ram and make some real power, at some point you're gonna need the long tube headers. It's gonna have way more benefits for you and also your truck. Your truck gonna sound good, make more power, and it's definitely gonna, it's definitely, you're gonna see a huge difference though. Them shorty headers is little torque or no power or, you know, either way and stuff like that. It's just one of the pointless things to really put on your truck. And especially if you want sound, no one's, no, nobody really buy them no more. Nobody really, there's only a few places that make them still, but nobody really take their time out to put shorty headers or whatever they telling you, oh, you know, you should get this shorty headers. Is the best. No, it's not. Definitely don't do it. Number five is this one is one of the annoying, annoyingest mods that anybody could really do if you really like simple like just please just do your research don't don't follow youtube trend or whatever this and that They're trying to oh i'm gonna make my i'm gonna make my ram louder because they say if i take my resonator delete off it's gonna if i delete my resonator it's gonna make it louder there is no difference when you do that there is zero difference like y your truck gonna still sound the same. The resonator is is pointless. It's nothing. It doesn't increase any kind of sound. You're not gonna hear any kind of bass. None of that. Your truck gonna sound the same. So if you're gonna spend that 150 bucks, whatever, just take that 150 bucks, stack it up a little bit, get yourself a nice aftermarket exhaust, AW catback exhaust or catless, whatever you wanna do. This and that. But please don't do any one of these mods. The 5.7 five, Hemi Porter into the Manafort, Pedal Commander, the wider throttle body, the BBK or Shorty Headers, whatever, wherever you want to get them from, eBay, wherever. And last but not least, please do not cut your resonator delete out, man. But these are the worst mods that you could possibly do for your RAM when modifying your RAM. Don't do these mods. If you are here on my channel for the first time, this is a ram channel so make sure guys to definitely give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned join the family man come on come on up man join the family it's free of charge doesn't cost anything to subscribe i upload every day so stay tuned man gotta hop on let's go peace out